All right, so one of my patrons over at Patreon has a question for me. Uh, Nick asks, I've been dwelling on something you said in a video about procrastination. I'm in a spot where I've identified the issue, but don't know how to raise slash solve it as the relationship I've got with my manager is poor. I'm slipped between, quote, just do what you're told and suck it up and, quote, tell them the truth. But the conditions have been worsening, sticking with the former, any tips? Uh, yes, I can definitely give you tips here. Um, only from my own experience, like I don't have any sort of formal training in this, obviously. This is just my experience as a guy who's worked in this field. Um, that's tough. I completely sympathize with that situation. I've been in that, that situation before. It's very tough because... You can suck it up and do what you got to do because you need a job because you need a job to make money so you can survive here. So at a certain point, you can suck it up, but there's only so far you can push that suck it up meter until it surpasses the, no, we've gone too far point. The, uh oh, this is the last straw on the camel's back type of thing where it's like, okay, now this is a problem. Now this is something I can't work in. And that could be a whole bunch of different things. Like, oh, we've crossed over into, you know, like my company's doing something immoral and I can't work here. Uh, we've crossed over into something where like, nope, this is a boundary. Like they're making me work more than X hours a week. And I never said, and I said I wouldn't do that. Or they're making me go and call when I said I never want to do that. I'm just using examples from tech. Um, so yeah, you hit a certain point where it's like, okay, I, I, I can, I'm, I'm tough. I can power through it, but at a certain point I can't power through this or I don't want to. Um, so what do you do then? This is where you really have to decide what's worth it to you. So I've been in that situation where you don't have the best, um, relationship with your manager, but you have to figure out like, okay, are you at that point where you need to talk to them? Because if so, then you, you, this is gonna sound weird. You have to suck it up and do the thing you're avoiding by sucking it up somewhere else. Like I, you're sucking it up by avoiding the conversation with your manager. You might have to suck it up and just have the conversation with your manager and see if that could lead anywhere. But you also have to be willing to accept any consequences that come from that. Like if you if you think like this is something that puts your job at risk, like you might put your job at risk. You have to be fully okay with that before you go into that conversation. Not okay with the consequence, not being like, oh yeah, I would love, you don't have to love it. You have to be like, no, I'm aware this could happen. Like I could, you know, maybe I could get fired for this or something. I don't know what it is. I'm just, you know, using that as an example. Um, Having been in this situation myself, I would also say, like, is there anyone else you can talk to? Is this something you can talk to HR? Or maybe, I don't want to say go above your manager's head, but there might be a different report you can talk to. You can even talk to, like, someone else who's in a similar position and just kind of, like, I don't want to say start feeling around. But you know what I mean? You might not have to go to the person you're having an issue talking to. So, sorry, kind of vague there. But basically, the moral of the story is it sounds like there's a conversation that needs to happen here. And it's going to be tough. And you might just have to do it. But there could be consequences as a result of it. So so like, it's the tough love answer. I'm sorry, but you might have to. It sounds like you're there. Um, but yeah, yo, appreciate the question.